page. One of the things I find most striking is the presence of Antarctica on ancient maps because we didn't discover it until 1820. And yet it's on maps drawn in the 1500s with great detail, which again were based on much older source maps that have now been lost to us. Um, the astonishing thing is the, the so-called Pinkerton world map. I don't know if you can, if you can find it, Jamie. Uh, drawn, I think, in 1813 or 1818, based on the latest exploration data at that time. And where Antarctica is, Antarctica is, yeah, that one, keep going right, that one. That, that one you've got up at the top there. It just shows a hole where Antarctica is. Because mm. it was an honest map. Nobody right. had found it by then. But if you go back to, for example, the Walsy Wooler world map drawn in 1530 or thereabouts, you find Antarctica is present. If you can find Walsy Wooler world map, it would be worth taking a look at. Um, Orontius Phineas. Go for Oron o Orontius. Mm -hmm. O-R-O-N-T-E-U-S. Phineas. F-I-N-N-A-E-U-S. The Orontius Phineas map. That map shows shows Antarctica mm -hmm. exactly where it should be, and it shows it. There we go, mm -hmm. right hand side. There's Antarctica at the tip of South America, mm -hmm. just south of South Africa. And what did they call it back then? Well, they call it the Southern Land, um, and it's and it's larger than it is today. But it was larger than it is today during the Ice Age. Antarctica was a much bigger. Now, what the fuck is it doing on a map? <laughs> drawn in the 1500s, which we know was based on older source maps when nobody knew it existed in the 1500s. To me, the obvious answer is we are dealing with the fingerprints of the lost civilization that mapped the world and that left evidence of that mapping, which ancient map makers found and used and incorporated into their maps. These maps can be very confusing because they were trying to mix exploration data from their own period with data from the older maps. But when you look at these maps in depth, they're very, very intriguing.